Good morning, crafters. My name is Juanette, and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in the United States. Today I have a special guest helping me with this video tutorial, my grandson Gavin. I would like to also give acknowledgement to Wow Nola Creations for her inspiration for creating this beautiful bow. At the half inch mark, we're going to line this up. It's and we're going to cut half inch strips. So we're going to cut about like five. Or no, we need 12. 12 if we're going to make this cool. Oh, Gavin, this is definitely going to be cool because you're here helping me complete this project. Okay, so now come in there so you can show your hands and you're going to put this at the half inch mark. You're going to lay it down flat. Fold that down and run that all the way up. And you're going to lift it up and move that out of the way. There you go. Okay. And I always bring this down. Do I think this is the last one? So what to do is I don't think okay. Oh, that wasn't correct. <laughs> what you can always do is just take a small piece of tape here. And you can, so it doesn't move. And lay it up on the half inch mark. Okay, now close your thing. And then there you go. Okay. And this one will just throw away. This one is good still. But we need another one now because you need 12 of them. Okay. So we need to get one more piece of paper. Okay, so you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half and right at the edge, we're going to fold it even. Okay, so that's our two halves. Okay. So we want to put a little bit of glue here. We're going to lay it in the middle so that it lines up even. And you can use your grid paper to make sure. And then you're going to take another one. Okay. And, and you're going to lay it over the top and glue it. Okay. And you're going to take this one and lay it over the top and glue it 
do okay. that. Okay, so what I want you to do is just put a little bit of glue right there. There you go. Okay. We're just going to go all kind of over there. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to lay it right on top. And you need to make sure it's perfect that each side is even. Okay? Okay. And you hold it over. Then we're going to turn it over. And we're going to do the same thing. So, once again, put some glue there. You only need about a half an inch. Sometimes you gotta squeeze it a little bit. Okay. And then line that one up. Okay, you got it lined up. Hang on before you get it down there. Okay, yeah. Press it down. Good. And you want to use your nail. Uh huh. Then we're going to turn it this way. And glue them this way. And what we're going to do is this one is going to go across here underneath. So, see? Mm -hmm. So it's like a weave of a pattern. So, kind of like put it. It's going to go way up there. Okay. So we're going to put a little bit of glue right there. You need to kind of squeeze it. I want to make sure it's even. There you go. Oh, I want to pull this one forward too. There you go. And now you're going to do the same thing. To the other side. Right. So here, let me give it to you. And you're going to Pull that one up, right? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like that. There you go. There you go. Put it down so it's even. And then bring it all the way up. There you go. Okay, now go over. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now there. Squeeze the bottle. Put it up in that corner. There you go. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then what you're going to do is, and I'll do this side and then you can do the other side. We're going to lift these up, put a little glue there. Do it on the other side. And there. Okay. Same thing. So first you're going to fold the two. Right. And do your crease. And you can also even do this bone folder. It's called a bone folder. And then you're going to do that same thing to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that, and then you're going to open up one. 
like this. Okay. And then you're gonna take this one. Mm -hmm. But before you do that, actually, you need to do it this way. Because we're gonna do these this way. And then you're gonna take your glue, your special this glue. Way. You're gonna open, take it. Just gonna do a little bit of glue. And you sometimes hold your hand. Hold your finger. There you go. Do you go this way or this way? Up and down. Okay. And then you're going to go up and down. Like that. And then you're going to take it. You're going to take this. Go sideways. And so what will help you is line your thing up with your grid paper. And then you're going to hold it. Let go. Push it down. And then you're going to just do that. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take this what? right here, mm -hmm. and you're going to... And you're going to go underneath. So on this one, go underneath. You're going to go underneath through this. Okay, one that. underneath, and the other one underneath. And then you're going to take the other one and put it underneath this, right. like, but you have to have it even. Mm -hmm. So get it even. going to take these two outer ones okay. okay you're going to fold that over and fold that over so put a little bit of glue here and fold it over to a right angle it's a little fiddly to do it's not that easy sometimes but once you have it you just hold it there okay So now you're going to take these two, you're going to put the glue on here, go like that, and then you're going to take it, you're going to fold it like that. It doesn't have to be exact, and then you hold it. So you like, have right, they're called right angles, huh? Yeah, right angles. You're going to take this one, and then you're going to the take other those. one. And you're going to do these two the same way, mm -hmm. corner to corner, okay? The two outer ones. Take it and fold it. Them. And then make sure you pinch them. Mm -hmm. And then this is what it's going to turn out like so far. Perfect. Make sure you hold it for a little bit. And then you have your last two corners.
for being his very first time to do a YouTube video and to craft with me. I think he's doing an absolutely remarkable job. Great going, Gavin. Then you're going to take this one. Let's put our glue on it. So then you take this one, and what you're going to do is thread that one underneath there. Hang on. This one underneath here. And then this one underneath there, and then this one underneath there, okay? Then you're going to turn it over, and then this one's going to go underneath there. Where's that one going to go? Underneath here. All right. And then this one's going to go into here. Right. And the last and final one go into here. And that's what you have. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what you're going to do next. So then what you're going to do is you're going to turn this over. And you're going to put a little bit of glue here. And you're going to bring this point up to that point so it's in the center and then you're going to hold it for a minute okay. We're just going to take our scissors, we're going to trim off there. And trim off there. And then we're going to trim this one off. And this one. And then this one. Okay. So then we're going to turn it over, and you're going to trim there and there. One hold it. You know, I have so many fond memories of spending time with my grandmother. She was not a crafter, however, she taught me so much about cooking. Every time she would cook, she would invite me into the kitchen to help her. And I believe that's why I enjoy cooking so much now. She made it such a pleasure. So I feel very blessed to be able to live close to my grandchildren so that I could spend time with them. And hopefully they will also have fond memories of me. Holly Jolly Christmas, and we are going to be doing this stamp which is right here. So set that over to the side. And set and that over on your paper. 
into it. Then you're going to close that. And that picks up your stamp. Then you open up your stamp. There you go. And then we're going to put Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. Now, even though Gavin is only nine years of age, he gives me a lot of good, sound, technical advice concerning my YouTube channel. I love how he wants to also have his own YouTube channel, and he's showing us which Stampin' Up! blends he is using to color his stocking. So we are going to be doing Jolly Season the dies. And we're going to use this die. Right okay. here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have this two inch little cute thing. Mm -hmm around there and you're going to take this paper right here and then you're going to put and then gonna it's going to look it like that yeah you're going to put this here first okay and then you're going to an inch so then gavin decided to take shaded spruce ink and a sponge dauber and apply a little bit of ink all around that starburst punch then he took a cherry cobbler star embellishment for the stocking. It already has some stick onto it. Okay, so we're going to first put one in the middle. Do you want another one? I think one's good. One is good? Okay. Then you're going to take some of these dimensionals. You're going to stamp them up. Dimensionals. Right. And you're going to take them out and you're going to take one and you're going to put it, it's sticky on one side. It's sticky on the other side. Yeah. And then you're going to decide which side you want it to go on. This side. Okay. So we'll put a little bit of glue. And you got to hold it in place. So you put your fingers underneath here and you hold it so that it sticks good. Okay. Okay, put your fingers underneath there. There you go. And then show them your project. Let me get everything out of the way. And thank you for watching. And this is what it looks like. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on Lynette's Papercrafts.